Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, please click on the subscribe button down there. Click on that bell as well. Post new content every Sunday morning Central Time. Right now, I'm out at the Big Thicket National Preserve. We're going to go explore a couple of trails that are handicap accessible and look at some carnivorous plants in their native setting. So let's go to it. We're going to take a we're going to we're going to pay a visit to a unique hiking trail. It's actually a handicap accessible trail and that's a good thing. I got little red with me. So let's let's get on down the road here and check out the Sundew Trail. This is, we're gonna go check out the, the Sundew Trail. We're gonna go see some, some carnivorous, carnivorous plants in their natural setting. Boardwalk may be slippery. Not sure where that trail goes. Such a beautiful day, man. It's hard to believe it is December 29, 2020. Temperatures is forecast to be 72 degrees today. I presume somebody's gonna stick a placard up so we know where the sundews are. The young man at the visitor center said that they were they were still out is how he put it. I know the picture I'm pretty sure the sundew plant likes full sun, so we're getting over here where there's full sun. They are a bog plant, and I know that because I used to have a small bog garden in my backyard and grew carnivorous, some carnivorous plants. All right, so we have a placard. That's a little bitty bird. Frequent fires, hard soils, and poor drainage.
I'm not seeing any. There are some pitcher plants. Saracenia are the pitcher plants in the Saracenia family. They actually have a, a waxy lining. inside uh, and an acidic hold on so there's a waxy lining and an acidic liquid not really water uh, that breaks down the insects so they're they're actually trap plants now let's see if we can find some Sticky plants, which is what the honeydew is. I ordered the ones that I had in my, my patio garden, I ordered them off of uh, the internet from a, a website that specializes in carnivorous plants. Hmm. Maybe, just maybe, I missed the honeydew plants. We'll spin back around and we'll, we'll go see if we can find those. And I'll cut back in when I find them. I couldn't find any sundews. So we'll head over to the next boardwalk and maybe we'll find some there. So let's go see some more stuff. Where are we? Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> the Big Thicket National Preserve. We've made it over to the pitcher plant trail. If you're gonna visit these, all these different units, the big thicket national preserve, be prepared for some driving. Cause it's, it's quite, a, quite a haul between the different units. At where we were before the sundew trail, uh, there was a, a a group pavilion but there's not there's only a picnic table at this one no group pavilions so let's go see if we can find some more carnivorous plants in the east texas big thicket All right. 
Apparently they've got a wild hog problem here. Of course there's a wild hog problem throughout the state of Texas. Such a pretty day. So for all my northern subscribers who are currently iced and snowed in, this sun is for you. Should have brought my camera harness. Oh well. We have Verizon cell service. And so far, we have connectivity. Yappy is on a Zoom call in the parking lot. So if we look out here, these are all the pitcher plants that are, that are falling over. They're going to sleep for the winter. a whole lot of them. It's interesting that these are all dying out for the season and yet over at the Sundew Trail they were all still about half vibrant. A whole lot of them out here though. Well, now that's kind of cool. So we'll we'll participate in that. We'll take a whole bunch of pictures. I don't know if this is a loop trail or not. I hope it's a loop. Ooh. Muddy, a little bit muddy.
That does not look dry at all. So we have reached maybe the end of our road. Yeah. We have reached. We, I so much want to go on. So we'll do it this way. Okay, that was a little, little bit, bit of a wet, rough spot. Okay. I'm gonna call it. We're gonna head back. Cause that, that, it's just more mud. All right, well, we tried to go into the woods. Not happening. Maybe during the summer it'd be doable. I mean, it doesn't look like the trail's too uh, rooty or or too rough just right now it's too wet Very pretty. All right, for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm so deeply honored. For those of you who have yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. Y'all come back now, you hear?